Lego is great. You've got this, 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 this. But today I bought all of these sets here to try and find out which one is the absolute worst. All right, so let's start with these boxes here, shall we? Oh my god, that is horrific. And then we've also got, oh my, disgraceful. All right, and then finally, Please subscribe. Terrible. What the? Oh, God. All right, let's start with this set here. Hopefully, it's not that bad. It looks like the best of the bunch. Shima is a theme from 2013 about a group of animals trying to fight for a mysterious crystal which would uh, give them powers. All right, to be fair, this is actually sealed, so it's getting some bonus points at least. But the theme was cancelled two years later, largely due to the sets being uh, pretty terrible. What is that? What was the point? This set was actually from the first wave of Shima sets, and as I finished building it and putting on the finishing touches, it actually looked really really good. Look, I can't lie. I used to be a Chima fan, okay? Yes, I'm sorry. But growing up, this theme was huge for me, so seeing this set made me realize just how great the sets actually used to be. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised. The build's actually really nice. The minifigures are okay when they when they have their helmets on, otherwise I really don't want to see it. That's disgraceful. I mean, look at this moving mouth play feature, or my personal favorite, the miss- oh, okay, hang on a sec. The missile, which you can use irresponsibly to take out anyone who wrongs you. I mean, this thing is powerful, okay? But this set wasn't the level of terrible I'm looking for, so I opened the second set. Laval's Fire Lion. This thing retailed for $50 back in 2015, which is pretty extortionate, I have to say. Building this thing up, I knew it was going to be terrible, judging by the certain smelly brown substance on the brakes that are stacked for later, I guess. As well as the fact that when I bought it, it literally said, No Mongus. <laughs> It was very traumatizing. I'm very upset, okay? But after getting back to the building, I eventually finished the second Chima set, which has the brilliant play feature of standing up. As well as, of course, some missiles that didn't actually work. I mean, just imagine this thing going into battle against the previous set and pulling the ultimate move. <laughs> I actually can't decide whether or not I'm more horrified or uh, terrified of this set. This is just unacceptable. I mean, what is that? <laughs> now we were getting somewhere with the terrible sets, but believe me, things only went downhill from here, like, a lot. Alright, so we've obviously still got all of uh, these sets here. Well known for being the worst thing that LEGO Hit has ever released. So naturally, I cracked them open and began building. I really don't understand what LEGO were going for here. Like, what is this? Now, Chima was actually supposed to overtake Ninjago when it ended, and while building these figures, it's clear to me why it didn't. I mean, LEGO has continuously tried to make characters in this buildable form, but obviously, it never works. You've got Laval, who looks a, a tiny bit worse for wear, I can't yeah. lie. Then you've got Eris the Eagle, who looks pretty cool, you know, nice axe. Weird looking face, though, so this wolf guy, who has, again, the weirdest head mold ever. I don't I don't know what LEGO was thinking with these. They, they just look terrible. Kragger, who has not only the weirdest head mold ever, but then this, this weird back thing. What is that? And all of these things have, like, the weirdest feet ever. I mean, these are like monster -like. Put them away, please. But I mean, who can blame LEGO for trying something a bit different? Kind of like they did in 2002. Alright then, let's see what we've got, shall we? Oh no, look at that. That is dreadful. And then in this box here. Oh my god. These two sets here are the Jack Stone Lego sets, which come with uh, some slightly interesting minifigures. This is so terrifying. Yet yeah, so cool. The first set to build was the fire station truck thing, which released all the way back in 2001. See, LEGO wasn't doing too well financially, so naturally they decided that this would be their saving grace, and that this minifigure design was simply not good enough, so of course they had to improvise with something a, a bit better. What is this? Very terrible. And when I tried building it, this was literally the only instructions that I was given. I is that literally it? What? So of course I tried my best and tried to build this thing, eventually being left with this bad boy, which came with three minifigures, including Jack Stone himself. These firefighters, a tower thingy, and a fire truck that didn't even work. Very effective. But don't worry, I still have this second set, which was just a small helicopter and was literally sealed. Alright, let's go ahead and open it. Oh, this feels like illegal, I can't even lie, this is so old. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, okay. The instructions are just like this page, like that is literally it. And after trying to decipher the awful instructions, 
again. I added this beautiful set to the Jackstone City, which came with the man himself, as well as this deformed woman. This is such a random set, with again, the worst minifigures of all time. As well, the fire truck would have been the equivalent to about $60 to buy nowadays. $60 for that, it's just outrageous. I can't lie, this, this is definitely the worst thing I've ever built in my life. I mean, growing up, there was so much cool stuff, like the Wii, Ninjago, Ben 10. Speaking of which... Alright then, let's go ahead and open this thing. Oh, no. <laughs> this bag here has tons of Lego Ben 10. <laughs> what is this? No way. Now, that is terrible. <laughs> what is that? All right, it looks like I've still got a, uh, a bit of work to do here, okay? In 2009, LEGO released these Ben 10 buildable figures to try and capitalize off this masterpiece. And obviously, these sets are, are kind of less than fantastic and don't really capture this brilliant show. All right, so you've got Jet Ray, who honestly looks pretty good. I mean, he's not terrible, you know, reasonably decent. Chroma Stone, who honestly, again, looks, you know, reasonably okay. Then you've got a, a Big Chill, who uh, has that headpiece. Very terrible, but not quite as terrible as um, Spider Monkey here. That that's literally my live reaction to this set. He's got four arms, a weird tail. Ugh. Oh, but wait, there is more. Humongous or humongous disappointment. How have they done this to my boy? He's got like a really weird head thing going on here. I really, I really don't know what they were thinking with this, to be honest. I just don't know how this can get even worse. But of course, it did. See, LEGO included these custom instructions in the set where you could combine the already terrible builds to create something pretty abominable. Firstly, you had Humongous Saw and Jet Ray, which had been stuck together to create this very strange alien with four legs, no matching colors, along with this amalgamation of Big Chill, Chroma Stone, and spider monkey like what is this this is completely ridiculous what is this I, I just i can't believe this good lord but there were still two sets left that took the terrible sets to an entirely new level <laughs> Alright then, let's see what we've got in here. I had no idea what I was getting myself in for because whilst LEGO releases some of the greatest sets now, they haven't always done that. Oh god, no. LEGO Galador. This was a 2002 wave of sets based around Galador, this pretty bizarre show about this super likeable and totally not annoying guy named Nick Bluetooth. Oh god. How is any of this LEGO crazy? These sets were not good and there was absolutely tons of them like Nick Bluetooth himself who you can torture and swap his arms with jets that literally have missiles which can be used to take out the bad guy called Gorm. Ooh, scary. What a scary name for a scary character who falls apart from the smallest of touches. It's so weak. As well as this red thing with four legs. Just brilliant. These sets were definitely very terrible and arguably the worst LEGO sets, but I mean, are they really LEGO? I wasn't too sure, so I bought this one last set here to be certain that I had the worst LEGO set of all time. Look at this. What is that? This is a 2002 set which was meant to time with the worst Star Wars movie of all time and be a stormtrooper made out of Technic. They also did this for droids, Django Fett, Darth Vader, but it's fair to say that this stormtrooper was by far the worst. And as I continued building it, I mean look, if we're being honest, this is definitely the worst LEGO set that I've ever built. Like, by far. It's just like the weirdest looking thing ever. I mean, it doesn't even look like a stormtrooper. It's just like... Uh, it just dangles up. Yeah, it, it's just not great. Not only does it look terrible, but also has the structural integrity of a paper aeroplane. Which, along with the yellowing of the pieces from the set being 21 years old, not to mention the terrible rocket launcher, makes it the worst LEGO set of all time. Like, like by far. I mean, there is, there is no competition with this one. Please make sure you subscribe for my pain. <laughs>